Hi, I'm Tim Carter, founder of AskTheBuilder.com, and I'm down here in the mechanical room of my own home. I didn't build this house. The house was built about 15 years ago, and right behind me, see that big white can? That is the power unit of a central vac system. I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to install a new vacuum flow central vac power unit that I think is going to just really do a fantastic job of cleaning my home. So that's what this video is about. We're going to talk a little bit about installing these power units, some of the most important things that you need to consider, and most of all, how simple it really is to do. I love central vacs. I've had one for not only in this house, but in my previous home, and they are just fantastic machines. Let's get started. The first thing I want to talk a little bit about is the actual central vac unit. Oh, they're really, really pretty simple machines. They have an inlet port where the piping from the entire central vacuum system comes in, and that's where all the dirt and debris comes into the unit. And then there's an exhaust port where whatever air is being sucked into the system, that same amount of air has to be blown out of the unit. You know, it just makes sense. It's a much like your car, where you have air that comes into your air filter, and you have the same amount of air that comes out of your exhaust pipe. I'm ready to get started here. And what I want to show you on the old unit that we're going to take out, so right here, this, this great pipe up here is the inlet. This is where all of the dirt and dust come down, and they go into this unit right here. And this pipe right here is the exhaust pipe. And this is a muffler that that old unit had. These are the low voltage wires that actually control the unit from the pipes upstairs. And of course it's got a plug that plugs in, you know, just a standard plug cord. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is just take these pipes out. It's really, really pretty simple to do. There's just a rubber clamp on these, on these machines. And then, unfortunately, the new unit its inlet pipe is on the other side of the unit, so I'm going to have to cut this pipe up here, and I'm going to have to reroute it to get the inlet into the machine. But guess what? It's PVC pipe, it's easy to cut, it's thin wall, and I'm telling you, it's not that hard to do. I've got the old unit out. As you can tell, it's gone, and we're getting ready to install a new one. The biggest mistake you could make if you're installing a central vac power unit is the failure to read these. These are the written installation instructions, and I recommend that you do it. Just take the time. Here's why it's important. Frequently, you have to make sure that you've got proper clearances on the sides and the top and even the bottom, because sometimes we have to take the bottom of the unit off to be able to get to the bag. So pay attention to those clearances and make sure you observe them. I'm going to get ready to put the bracket on right now that's going to hold up our unit on this nice, solid plywood. This little bracket, very strong metal, is what holds the central vac power unit to the wall. And it comes with some nice screws and anchors. And this is in case you are going to put it on a concrete wall. I'm putting it on a nice solid three quarter inch piece of plywood. It's really important that you get this level and that you put it at the right height. So, and you just use these simple screws and these holes to make it happen. Make sure it's solid because the vibrations over time from the central vac unit could wiggle this off the wall and it all comes crashing down. So you have to use really good installation techniques to make sure this never comes off the wall. I've got one screw in on the bracket and I want to show you something pretty cool. I'm going to use this torpedo level to uh, make sure it's perfectly level. But the one I'm using, it's a nice little Johnson level and it's got these magnets on the bottom. So that's kind of handy when you're working with a steel bracket because if you're not careful, you know, your regular torpedo level will fall off, fall to the ground, you might break it. This is going to stay put. Watch. Okay, I've got the new unit installed and it looks really, it really looks good. And I had no troubles getting it in at all. The bracket's nice and level and I put four screws in it. Okay, so now what we have to do, here's the challenge. Here is the, remember, the inlet pipe is right here, but it gets connected over on the left side here. I know you can't see it, just trust me. There's a, uh, there's a rubber pipe here you know, that I have to insert the other pipe into. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use three 90-degree angles, and these are special 90s, okay? When you use and when you install central vac things, 
This is called a sweep 90 because it's kind of a gentle 90. They make other ones that are very hard. They're very sharp turns like this one. I would not recommend those. Um, this, this way, the sweep 90, it, in case something does get almost lodged in the pipe, it's going to have a much easier time making it around this bend than a very hard 90. So try to use sweep 90s as often as you can. Here's where it's going to go. So I'm probably going to install it, you know, right about at this height up here, so that, you know, I'm coming across the top of this unit, you know, just about here. There's no need to bring that pipe down close here. And besides, the unit, there are air ports up here, and I just don't want to block any of the air that's blowing out of this unit. I'm getting ready to cut the PVC pipe, and I want to show you a little trick. So it's a really dangerous place to make this cut because there are all types of wires around here and cables, and you don't want to nick one. So luckily, I was able to pull the pipe out away from the wall. You can see my hand, there's a good two inches behind it. So when I use the hacksaw to cut, I'm not going to nick any of these wires if I just start cutting slowly right as I get to the end of my cut. Okay, I've cut my first little piece of pipe. It's going to connect to the inlet port of the machine and to the one first 90 that's going to come up. Now one of the things you've got to do with these, after you make a cut, you end up with a lot of little fuzz particles on the PVC pipe. You've got to use a knife to get rid of those, and the reason why is uh, those can grab little pieces of dirt or hair and things like that inside the pipe and cause a clog. Okay, we're getting ready to put the last piece of pipe in to connect the in, all the piping in the house to the unit. And I want to show you something that's really, really cool on this pipe. You know, years ago, when I was doing this out in the field, it didn't exist. And uh, this is really cool. Here's what it is. On the pipe, when they made it, they actually printed a very straight line down the pipe that is not twisted. And this particular line allows you to align fittings. And in this case, it's really important. And here's why. So here on this pipe, you can see I have this fitting aimed this way, but down here, I have the other one going the other way. Now here I'm gonna exaggerate it. If you just started to randomly glue these things on, you know, it, you know, and it would look really weird like this, well, that's the wrong alignment. It's gotta be, you know, it's gotta be perfect. You know, and, and, and this, this line allows you to do that. It's so, so cool. So here's how you do it. You can see the align right here that's printed on the pipe. And on the fittings, you can see these little notches. And these little lines are 45 degrees away from one another. So I want to align the printed line on the pipe with this particular notch on the pipe. And it's just like that. It's that simple. It's all finished. What do you think? Check it out. Look at this. Doesn't it look beautiful? Yeah, it really is. It was easy to install, and I think it works just great. Tell me what you think. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.